Well, there are some positive developments related to the availability of electrical power to uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants. Um, although the overall situation um, remains of serious concern. AC power is now available at units 1, 2 and 4. Power has been restored to some instrumentation in all units except unit 3. However, at unit 3 the main control room has lighting but no power to its equipment or instruments. As a positive development, instrumentation, as it becomes available, is providing more data that can be assessed by experts. The pressure in the reactor, pressure vessel and dry well of Unit 3 is stable. However, pressure has decreased in both the reactor pressure vessel and the dry well of Unit 1, where seawater injection has been increased. Until heat can be removed from Unit 1, pressure tends to increase as water is injected. The reactor feed water system is being used in addition to water injection through fire extinguisher lines. Pressure readings in Unit 2 appear to be less reliable. Only limited data is available concerning the reactor pressure vessel and reactor containment vessels integrity of unit 2. Temperature readings in the reactor pressure vessels of units 1 and 3 were high and of some concern. The temperature has now dropped in unit 1 following the start of seawater injection via feed water pipes. Indications are that the temperature at unit 2 is stable. Units 5 and 6 continue to have off-site power and remain in cold shutdown. Dose rates measured in the containment vessels and suppression chambers of units 1, 2 and 3 are available and are being studied. Finally, periodic water spraying of units 2, 3 and 4 and the common spent fuel pool has continued. The IEA radiation monitoring team took additional measurements at distances from 30 to 73 kilometers from the uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant. Results from gamma dose rate measurements range from 0.2 to 6.9 microsieverts per hour. The beta gamma contamination measurements range from 0.02 to 0.6 megabecquerels per square meter. The second IAA monitoring team has now arrived in Japan. The two teams will continue to work closely with the Japanese <coughs> authorities. <coughs> monitoring will be undertaken in the areas of Fukushima and Tokyo. And measurements will be taken to determine more precisely the actual composition of the radionuclides that have been deposited. More data has become available from the Japanese authorities. The measurements indicate that the radiation dose rates at the Daiichi site are decreasing. Absent further releases from the site, this is to be expected as relatively short-lived radionuclides such as iodine-131 decay away. At the Daini site, small spikes have been observed in gamma dose rate measurements. These are most likely to be the result of releases carried by the wind from the nearby Daiichi site. The deposition of iodine-131 and cesium-137 varies across some 10 prefectures from day to day, but the, the trend is generally upward. In contrast, environmental radiation monitoring in the Fukushima prefecture outside the 20-kilometer evacuation zone shows mostly decreasing values. Monitoring of the marine environment is being undertaken by the Japanese Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport, Science and Technology, MEXT. <coughs> High levels of iodine-131 and cesium-137 were measured close to the effluent discharge points of units 1 to 4 of the Fukushima Daiichi plant, that is before dilution by the ocean. Future monitoring will cover eight locations 
30 kilometers off the coast at 10 kilometer intervals. Results for seawater in the atmosphere above the sea should be available in the next few days. IAA experts from the Marine Environment Laboratory, Monaco, will assess this data. Since yesterday, the IAA has received further information from the Japanese Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare regarding the presence of radioactivity in milk, drinking water and vegetables. The results of some samples were above the limits specified in Japanese regulations concerning limits for food and water ingestion. In Fukushima Prefecture, six raw milk samples and in Ibaraki Prefecture, three spinach samples show concentrations of iodine in excess of limits. We understand that the Prime Minister of Japan, Mr. Nieto Khan, has today issued instructions to food business operators to cease, for the time being, the distribution of and, and for the public to cease the consumption of certain leafy vegetables, for example, spinach, komatsuna, cabbages, and any flower head brassicas, bros uh, broccoli, cauliflower that are produced in the Fukushima prefecture. The Prime Minister has ordered food business operators not to distribute for the time being any fresh raw milk and parsley in, in the Ibaraki prefecture. Um, we have also been advised that the Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare has encouraged Ibaraki and Chiba prefectures to monitor seafood products. The Tokyo Metropolitan Water Office stated that levels of ID-131 in tap water at a purification plant were found to be above the concentration level for drinking water for infants, but, the, uh, but below the level for adults. The Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare has requested that tap water in Tokyo is not used as drinking water in, for, for infants. So in summary, uh, there are some positive indications on the site. Precautionary restrictions around the site on certain foodstuffs and monitoring of the environment continues. Uh, and monitoring of the environment continues to expand beyond the evacuation zone and out to sea. But no significant risk to human health has been identified. Thank you.